Hi and welcome back to the channel and this series where we take a look at some cars which may be free but they're still worthy of a place in your car collection. This week it's the turn of the Chevrolet El Camino and the one you see here I've done up a little bit like a 1970 El Camino SS. Now the car was based on a saloon car or sedan car so that gave it that impossibly cool styling at least to my eyes in the UK. I mean here's a picture of what I would have been used to as a pickup truck growing up. The El Caminos came with all sorts of powerful V8s giving it a lot more performance than that wheezy old transit that you've just seen on the inset picture and uh, the SS particularly uh, at the top of the range was a pretty sporty car by any definition never mind a pickup. If you don't see one of these on the street, I wouldn't worry. They're only $9,000 to pick up anyway, so you get one cheap regardless. How does it drive? Well, the answer is it drives okay. I don't think we're buying this car for driving, to be honest. I'll explain in a minute. But it does the usual muscle car things, a little wheelie like you just saw, some body roll, and uh, a little bit of tail out action here and there. It's not hugely fast. It's okay. If you paint this car in a classic colour like I did and you put on those wheels which are some chrome ones from the muscle class and admittedly they cost about seven times what the car costs, you get a very convincing SS albeit without the black on the bonnet and as such I think it has two possible uses. Number one is if you're running a Chevrolet collection and uh, this is an excellent addition, in fact that's where mine has sat for a while. Also if you have a utility collection and again mine is sat there for a while. So really more of a static object than a car to drive I would say. Now unfortunately mine was ousted from the pickup collection because I bought the Karen Everon which was the Arctic Trucks Hilux we looked at in a showcase a week or so ago. So I don't really have room for this unfortunately anywhere so it has to go but it gives me a chance to show you a couple of other things you can do with the vehicle. This is where I think your third possibility lies. If you paint it metallic black, then you can go into the palescence and choose all sorts of colours. And some of the greens, the hot pink, they look rather good. They give it a sort of custom feel. And once you've chosen a custom colour, you can then move on to the wheels and put on something maybe from the low rider category in chrome. Or even go to, say, the street or the track category and pick one of those you know, stupidly large uh, wheels with a low profile tyre to make some form of custom uh, vehicle. And indeed, I did have mine again in the past as a custom vehicle, although it never did go in with the hot rods for the garage video. It was uh, always hidden away. So really, three things you can do with the car. Custom car, Chevrolet collection, utility collection. Pretty versatile and it looks really cool. Unfortunately, mine, as I say, I've got no room for it, so it has to be sold. Well, despite the sad ending for my El Camino, I hope you can find room for one in your collection. And as always, thank you so much for watching.